Hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. I am LNA. If you're new here, then hi. I'm a music producer and a musician. And on my channel, you will learn about music production and creative confidence so that you can definitely finish a lot more music, you can enjoy the process a lot more, and you learn a lot of cool techniques. If you have ever struggled finishing a song, then this video is definitely good for you. I have created a 10 step guide on how to finish a house track. You can also go and download the guide from down below and I will be following it today. Guides like this and workflows that are pre-planned can really help you to get away from that empty canvas fear and they can really give you a starting point for a song. Today, we're gonna make this in 10 steps. The point of today is to finish a song. Will the song be good or will the song be bad is secondary goal. And this is where we need to challenge our inner perfectionist and accept that what comes through us when we create is all okay. Sometimes we are not fully into it. We can always take pieces of it and make it more us. Or we can just be happy and really enjoy the feeling of completing something. This video is a practice for myself to do that, but also a challenge for you to try that out. And because I'm me, I've decided to make it slightly more difficult for myself. So I'm actually doing this track with the time limitation as well. So my goal today is to make it in a couple hours and it needs to be finished today. Let's see what kind of song comes out of this and uh, please subscribe, please hit the bell icon so you can see a lot of more interesting content like this and well, let's get into it. Let's go into the track and make house music. Okay, so before we get into it, we need to prep the session. So what I will do is just create the tracks that I'm going to use. So we're going to have first, uh, oh, vocals. Oh, I need classes. So these are going to be our stuff to, for today. Color coding already in this point is good for you so that you know exactly what is where and what goes where. You know what I mean? You want, you know, you know. The tempo of house music usually goes between 115 to 130 BPM. So I'm going to go 127. And for the master channel, I'm still also going to add limiter just to make sure that we are saving our ears. Okay, step number one is adding vocals. Vocals are extremely important in house music, especially to kind of transpose the idea of the feeling of what you want to tell with the songs. You don't need a lot of lyrics. You just need kind of couple sentences with a very good melodic hook. Usually I like doing my own vocals, but today, unfortunately, I'm still recovering from... So my lung capacity is not the best. So what I want to do today is to show a technique on how to use samples to create your vocals for your house track. And I'm going to go to Loop Cloud to do that. So we're going to go here. We could just go to female vocals there. In this point, it would be good to have a look at the BPM and the key here. The scale in this point is not the most important. You bring me life. You bring me joy. Oh, I like that. And I also like this kind of... You bring me life. I like these both. So, what well, I'm... A, I, will, I will take those both. I'm going to put that on track one and this one on track two. And now I'm just going to buy both of them. Buy all. You bring me joy. So, we have our vocals here. Because you bring me... That's the main vocal. So, that's the female vocal. And here is the kind of choir. 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 Cause you bring me life. You bring me joy. Okay, so we can now make sure that all our song will be in F major now. The vocals that I chose, they are quite powerful. They have a lot of good energy. So I think that's the vibe we're going to go for it. So that's why I want to choose the vocals first. So to kind of see which is the direction we're going to take this track. Right now, we can chop them up. We can find very good hooky bits and just play around them a little bit. Need to also make sure that they're warped. Cause you bring me life. You bring me joy. 
Oh, there's okay. So we have almost like this beginning section here. That's like its own thing. So I'm just going to copy paste this. So we will have the beginning section and then Cause... we're going to have like a different section here. If you hold on to me, I lose my grip and let go. So that's almost like another verse situation here. And then it kind of repeats, repeats the section. And let's just go see what's in here in the end. If you hold on to me, I lose my grip and let go. I take a sip and swallow. Okay, very nice. And now that number two, we're going to add some rhythm. Hi-hats are one of the most important parts of a house track. It's very common to use nine or nine kits. You can't really go wrong with it. If you go packs, call library, and under the drum machines, you have nine or nine core kit. So let's put that on hi-hats. Here we have open hi-hat and closed hi-hat, but if you want to make it a bit more complex and a bit more human, you can act, example add three closed hi-hats to add a little bit of variation type of sound. So we're just gonna work on these two right now. I also wanna make sure that you also know that we should have the choke mode on on these. So it means that they, the hi-hats cannot play same time. So if a closed hi-hat is playing, open hi-hat can play and so on. And how do you make sure that is you go to the IO settings of the drum rack, you go to close hi-hats and open hi-hats and you make sure that under choke here in the list, it both of them have number one on them. So that means that they're both on a channel one, num, 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 <laughs> channel number one, which means they cannot play same time. That children is what makes your hi-hat scoot. So we're going to create a clip. Uh, let's just put the length, maybe two bars, and the grid, we want to keep it 16th note. I'm going to put a, a pen tool and we're going to start with open hi-hat. Let's just see how that sounds. And we're going to go to randomized area. This stands for velocity, this number here. So I could go to example around 98 example and then randomize. And how we can also make the groove even better is using groove pool. So under the same core library that we were uh, using the 909 core kit, we also find here grooves. We can go to swing and on the swing, we can find 16 note grooves like this. So I'm just gonna pick randomly one. They're already preset grooves and we can use them in group pool. I drop that in and I'm gonna select here a swing 60, 66. I quantize it together to that. This is the magic where the magic happens. And I'm gonna just press that. You can see that all the notes have adapted into the groove that we had in the group pool. If you're confused about all this, what I just did, I have a whole video about group pool linked down below for that. So this is without group pool. And this is with group pool. So much more interesting, so much more uh, lively. And again, we really want that like groove and drive to the, our hi-hats in house music. I have created actually another variation of the hi-hats. Like this, another one with the shaker. So this one adds very much that house mm -ch -ch -mm -ch 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 type of rhythm into it. We have our hi-hats. Step number three is drums. So now I'm just going to about go back into the core kit and drag that to the drums. Create a new clip and now let's go for another two bar loop. Bass drums always start with four on the floor. So every single beat has a kick. Okay, what we also need is flap and snare. How nice is that? Okay, and we can always add a little bit more percussions there. So we could actually add rim example. If we want to, we're gonna make it a little bit lower with transpose and then work with the amplitude envelope a little bit. So we have now created also variations. So we have one clip with uh, toms and rim shots. And then we have one that is just kick, snare, and clap. 
okay? And I also added the groove into both. Let's add swing, quantize 30%, yes, and we embed it in there. There we go. So we just make sure that both of the hi-hat and the drums are definitely working already together. Step number four is adding a synthesizer. So you go to instruments, wavetable, and then you see here, guitar plucked. It's all these type of like, plop, pluck. It sounds like something's plucked. So let's just go to wavetable. I'm just gonna create one now very fast we want to keep it quite simple so first oscillator let's let's go uh triangle second oscillator should we just keep it inside but maybe detune it slightly Ooh. already it has a little bit of pluck vibe let's maybe filter it a little bit we could make it polyphonic just a little bit of unison, tiny bit, just to kind of spread it up away a little bit. But where the plug sounds really come from is the amp envelope. You can hear that lower I bring the decay and shorter sustain, the more plug factor we are bringing into the sound. And I'm just gonna play bring these a little bit sharper. There we go, we have a little bit of a plug instrument. Perfect. So now we can create a clip and make it four bars long. And remember, what was the scale? F major. There we go. So I go and the clip and I, I activate the scale mode. Turn the grid into one bar length and I'm going to find just a little progression, just randomly clicking around like this. We want to have a powerful uh, chord progression. And now we're gonna use a bridge to create a nice rhythm to it. Okay, so let's go and find maybe up and down and then steps, maybe three up. And we can transpose it, make it major and key. So let's maybe make seven up. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's just play around with the patterns and let's just play the rhythm as well, just so that we find what kind of works with everything else. One eight was nice. And then we're gonna put re-trigger and one four. So this is kind of like we have a little bit of different patterns going on. So it's not the same all the time. Okay, there we go. We have a pluck instrument. Let's go and add piano chords. Step number five is adding chord progression. In house music, acoustic pianos are very common way to add chords. So what I, one of my favorite ones to use is Upright Piano by Spitfire Audio. So this is an Ableton Live pack. So we have the piano here. Okay, the next step we wanna do is copy paste the synth clip that we created into the piano clip. Straight away, I wanna bring it octave down like that. So obviously I could just start and clicking here and create chords manually, but there is a fun way to do this very fast in Ableton Live. So I'm gonna go into here to the browser, go to house to go, which is a very nice adding seventh note chord to it, or we can go major seven. So we know we're in a major chord. So let's go to major seven. So it's basically the same. So we're adding the seventh note there in major. And then we're gonna also go to scale. And from here, let's just go and add major. Perfect. And we're gonna put it after the chord device. It's now in C, so let's go and purchase F. Yeah! And let's just play around with the settings a little bit. Reverb. We can always add another note here, so I could add octave higher one. And let's see how it sounds with the abbreviate. vibe. I might just play around with the oscillators of the synth just a tiny bit. Okay.
Okay, so now we have the major seven chord. We have the major, uh, we have the scale there. But now let's just play with this rhythm again a little bit. So I'm going to put this in sixth, uh, eighth bar. Make this all a little bit shorter, these notes. So holding down shift, I press left and right and I can make them the MIDI notes longer and shorter. In this grid we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can divide that to three plus three plus two, okay? You get me? So we get do, 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 do type of rhythm. So I'm gonna repeat that to all the notes. I'm also going to highlight them all and, you know, randomize it with, again, velocity. But we're going to create a variation of this, which is just four long notes. So we have variation for two type of rhythm. Step number six is bass. In house music, it really does work the best when the bass kind of works together with the rhythm, with the drums and the synths and everything. Let's go and add waves bass fingers. I'm going to make it mono straight away. Okay. And we can play with the FX later, but now I'm just going to take the rhythm we created with the ba uh, piano and I'm going to copy paste that to the bass. There we go. There we go. It's done. Okay. And now we're going to make it octave lower Again, highlight them all shift and arrow down. I'm going to add little ghost notes just to add that little driving effect to it. Yes. Step number seven is arrangement. So what do now is arrange this in session view uh, according to song structure. And then we're going to record it into arrangement view. Okay, so I have now created the rest next four steps and I just want to walk you through what I have done here. So I have finished the arrangement in the first place. So as you can see, we are now in arrangement view. We have now intro. I put up here on the top marker. So we have intro, verse one, verse two, chorus, bridge and chorus two. So all together, the song is a bit less than four minutes so it exactly three minutes 56 so there is three main things that i have focused on the arrangement so is arranging the vocals as well as focusing on dynamics using auto filter as well as just silence like cutting things away so uh when it comes to vocals now instead of just one track i have five tracks as you can see here we have an intro because you bring me life we have a little bit of delay there as well but you can also see that there is a bit more lyrics in a verse one a little bit less lyrics on the verse two and in the verse two i just cut little pieces and created little hooks so in house music especially we can repeat things quite many times but also we need to make sure that there's enough space for the rhythm and for the groove vocals are more like impacts but then uh, verse two we are focusing more on the rhythm. So we have hi-hats are coming in. Bring me life. Bring me life. So also the clips had a si different section that had a lot of a uh, bit, little bit different type of vocals in it. So I've put that section in the bridge. So. A little bit of different type of rhythm, different type of vibe happening in the bridge. And then we go back into the chorus and we have a good vibe going on again. So it's the same lyrics as in the beginning, but it's like a choir. Okay, so dynamics. Biggest thing I've done is really just create gaps, like a drops between the sections. So example, from intro to verse, you can see that there is uh, like almost a one bar gap. And the same thing here from verse one to verse two, from verse two to chorus. Bring me life. You bring me joy. You bring me life. 
that creates dynamics and that creates impact into the track a lot. But another way we can create that is using auto filter. So if we go to automation, you can see that there's quite a lot of automation happening. So example, hi hats, we have a frequency automated here on the bridge. So they're, they're kind of moving in, they're creeping in and they're just coming in. And I will it's the same thing we have in kick and also I have added to the intro as well. So it just kind of softly comes in, it doesn't like and that adds movement to the tracks a lot. Instead of us uh, automating the volume, we are automating the frequency. That is our arrangement done. So step number eight is adding effects. On the verse, I have two effects here. Cause you bring me life. You bring me joy. So the first thing you can hear here, hear here, <laughs> is the D verb. No, delay. What am I saying? Instead of the normal Able to Live delay, I've added baby audio, comeback, kid. It's one of my new favorite delays. So as you can see, on all the vocal tracks have delay on them. Same, I've added it to synths and piano, as well as some other sounds that we're gonna be talking about soon. When we use vocals as an impact, especially, it adds rhythm and more like that oomph. Also, I've added uh, Waves Audio Putsch Vig uh, vocal units on all the vocals. It's just great unit, it just literally does kind of pre-mixing in a production process and it just has everything that you need. This is how it sounds with it. Cause you bring me life. So much better already. You bring me joy. Another plugin that I really like for vocals uh, is Autotune FX Plus and they have this aspect effect called duets and it just makes everything so much more softer and more clear and obviously it autotunes it slightly as well. So without it, cause you bring me life and with it, cause you bring me life, you bring me joy. That is yeah. awesome. I freaking love that. So I just added Puchvik on all of them. I could actually add also the autotune plugging on the choruses. Here on the piano, what, what we can do is use the shifter, which is Ableton Live's own tool. And we're just gonna add a little tiny bit of width here. And we can add it so it sounds almost like we're stacking the piano in the end. Can you hear that? It just softens it up actually and makes it a bit more interesting. Oh, you bring me freedom. Love it, love it, love it. Step number nine is tension lifts as well. So I've already added some special lifts to add tension and movement. So in verse two, we have the abbreviated synth. I have automated the rate as well, as, well as the frequency. To add just color and ear candy a little bit there uh, then i've also added analog on the analog i've created white noise lift i've also added auto filter here which opens up in a frequency and we also have a very strong amount of lfo really and with the rate 116 so we get the sound effect so we have this de tension building up and then we have this very boomy kick just going boom and just gives the break a little bit of body. So I've added that end of verse two, uh, end of chorus one, bridge and end of the song. And then we have uh, symbols. So we have a reverse symbol going up. So I have just a normal symbol and I reversed it. And then we also have another symbol that is like the uh, decay of this symbol. So reverse symbol goes up. Simple but effective way to transition one, one section to another. You get what I mean there. So I felt like for the choruses, I just needed strings there. So I took a uh, synthesis strings, but uh, Ableton pack strings. 
And I added a very simple note progression, added this major seven chord MIDI effect, the scale effect, EQ, auto filter with LFO. And this is a really cool one. It makes it sound a bit like side chaining, like a ducking effect and also added utility with width. You can see that the frequency filter is opening up. LFO is making it sound like ducking. And I really like that it's uh, lifting up these choruses just to kind of add a little bit more like depth and width and emotion to the choruses. Step number 10, we are here in the final step and it is ear candy and fills. Obviously, fill needs and gaps, so we already added empty space. What I've done with the fills is also obviously put some vocals in there so that there's tr nice transition. Before chorus one and chorus two, both of them have a little drum fill. Both of them are slightly different, but they only use a snare. You bring me joy. You bring me so done, 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 done. And the same here in chorus two. Hold on to me. Okay. And then for ear candy, what I did is that I went and copied a couple of the vocals into a different track and I added Waves vocal bender in there. And what it does that it makes it sound a bit more like a child. Bring me it just brings it up a little bit. Let's we could bring it four semitones up maybe. Bring me and it sounds really cool with a lot of delay just behind the other um, vocals. It just, again, little details like this can really make a difference. Okay, and the same thing I did in the bridge. Just, I copied this section here and put it there with vocal bender. And again, same show me it. So it just adds a little bit more interest, a little bit variation. And I'm also going to just automate it to the main verse here. So I just want to have it on just the last little note here. So off otherwise. And I want to make it sound a little bit lower. So I'm going to take it down semitones. Bring me joy. But let's automate that. So we bring it here to here. Bring me joy. It's just a little detail, but I really enjoy that. It's a lot of fun. And I can let go. So example, that point, we could do the same thing like that. And I can let go. You bring me like that. So it's just a tiny little effect just to add that ear candy. Bring me kind of like that okay i think overall our track is ready and now it's time for you to know how long it took me to make this so it all in total it took me two and a half hours to make this track so what ha ha happened is that yesterday i recorded it the whole thing after recording i realized that my computer had stopped recording the screen halfway so today I've explained what I did yesterday. So let's go and find out how does it sound. So obviously it's not mixed or anything. It's exactly as we just made it. Cause you bring me life. I kind of like the intro. It's sweet, soft. Cause you bring me Cause you bring me life. I 
really like when the hi hats come in. These hi hats are good. Time just for beats and bass. If you hold on to me, you show me in. You show me in. You show me in. And I will follow. You show me in. Freedom within. If you hold on to me, freedom within. If you hold on to me. video was to create a track in 10 steps and now the question is do I like the track you need to ask yourself which one is more important the fact that you accomplished a track or the fact that you like the track do you need to like every single track that you make do you <laughs> it's actually a really good valid question because if we start saying that oh it's a shit track obviously we'll start also limit what comes through us and we limit also the good ideas the brilliant tracks how i honestly feel about this track is still as rough around the edges i would probably sing my own lyrics to this when i feel a little bit better but generally it has a lot of good ideas so that is why this was a successful session and i actually do feel accomplished after doing this track and i'm definitely gonna work on this and you know find out if i can make it a little bit more me with more time than two and a half hours so that is why i also challenge you to try this challenge out because if you struggle finishing tracks giving yourself a guideline finish a song in 10 steps and see just what happens let whatever comes through you come through you no judgment okay i also have another video how to make a pop song in 10 steps this was a really interesting session because the outcome was definitely not something i personally enjoyed is not really my style but there was a lot of people in the comments who did enjoy the song i also have a lot of similar type of content on workflows and confidence so please check out a playlist full of that kind of content down below if you wish to chat with me a little bit more about music production or even of your own projects then please go and check out my patreon because in there i have a mentoring tier where i can give you business advice feedback on your tracks but also it's a full community of amazing like-minded people that you can really find inspiration from because i totally do these people are part of the community and they are amazing and if you want to be part of this family Family, then go to the link down below and check out my patreon hey thank you so much for watching please subscribe please hit the bell icon and let me know down in comments what you thought about the track and also if you followed the 10 steps go and comment down below what you thought about the process and if it helped you to finish more songs see you all soon again bye for now <laughs>